Hello, my name is Rachel Rommel, and this is my presentation on Caring Science and the Impact of Environmental Interventions that Create a Caring Atmosphere. I'll focus specifically on Dr. Jean Watson and Florence Nightingale and how they relate to environmental nursing considerations. Dr. Jean Watson and the Creatus of Caring, number eight, is what I will specifically focus on. The co-creation creatus or creatus field. Creating a healing environment at all levels. A subtle environment for energetic, authentic, caring presence. Watson created the creatus to guide nursing practice and to make a pathway to a caring practice. Some of her contributions to the nursing craft included, in 1979, she wrote Nursing, the Philosophy and Science of Caring. Later editions of this book included The Ten Caritas of Human Caring, which had become a cornerstone of nursing practice and edu education today. In 1980, she established the Center for Human Caring. In 1997, the NL NLN awarded her an honorary lifetime certificate as a holistic nurse. In 1999, she became the nation's first Merchant Scoville Endowed Chair of Science and caring. Here you can see Dr. Jean Watson's meta paradigm theory model, including nursing actions, the person, the health of the person, and the environment, which includes the internal and external factors contributing to patient health. Dr. Jean Watson said, Watson's human caring theory can be an underlying guide to enrich human-human relations and create a caring healing environment. When human caring is applied in interprofessional teams, healthcare professionals find a caring consciousness to care for oneself and each other and promote patient care. Florence Nightingale, a personal hero of mine, was instrumental in implementing changes about nursing as a profession, cleanliness, and using science to back up her theories on nursing. She yeah. used her influence to change how nursing was practiced. Some of her contributions to the nursing craft include established quality nursing care standards during the Crimean War. In 1860, she established the Nightingale School of Nursing and developed the Coxcomb chart to formalize accurate mortality rates. In 1958, she wrote Notes on Nursing, What It Is and What It Is Not, which revolutionized how nursing is performed in home and in hospital. It is still in print today and still relevant. Here you can see the Coxcomb chart, which graphically shows the causes of mortality in the Army in the East. Florence Nightingale said, the most important practical lesson that can be given to nurses is to teach them what to observe, how to observe, what symptoms indicate improvement, what the reverse, which are of importance, which are of none, which are the evidence of neglect, and of what kind of neglect. Looking at the entire environment of the patient for patient care. <clears throat> Here you can see a correlation between Florence Nightingale and Jean Watson's nursing theories. Florence Nightingale was a liberal, liberal Unitarian, and she believed that her calling was to reduce human suffering. Jean Watson began unitary caring science. She created the human caring theory to help all patients have positive outcomes. They both implemented changes that in nursing that are still relevant today. Florence Nightingale believed that nursing was a calling to care about patients, focusing on the environmental considerations surrounding that care. Jean Watson invented the Caring Moments Theory, which also includes environmental considerations about patient care. The number eight caritas, uh, here is an example uh, to bring it to reality, a study published by International Journal of Nursing Science attempted to quantify the caritas and how they affected the interprofessional staff. 
they did a study a survey of a whole hospital who used the creatives in their professional practice human caring is the creation of a caring healing environment it is made from external environment that has aesthetics safety and privacy and an internal milieu that offers peace calm and comfort a chaplain from this study quoted our mind body soul are closely connected a healing environment is a place where both your body and soul can get a rest creating a healthy environment starts from our own hearts staff members across the board in this study reported better patient outcomes and better patient satisfaction with care when they utilized Watson's caring creatives within their practice. The eighth creatives appeals to me as a continuation of Florence Nightingale's work. The environment of our patients is directly in our care and scope. It contributes to positive patient outcomes and faster healing processes. Another study done in Turkey. Watson's theory has been adopted across the world. Although it can be hard to quantify caring, several studies done in Turkey examined statistical data of patient anxiety, depression, distress, self-efficacy, adjustment, and hopelessness after infertility. Practitioners divided the study group and found that statistically, the patients in the control group who did not receive Watson's theory as practice had worse patient outcomes in regard to these symptoms. Patient symptoms were reported significantly decreased by using Watson's caring creatives within their care. Nursing involves the caring of both the patient and the patient's environment. These are all within our scope and practice. Nursing is caring. Consistent with the wisdom and vision of Florence Nightingale. This is a quote from Jean Watson. Nursing is a lifetime journey of caring and healing seeking to understand and preserve the wholeness of human existence across time and space and national geographic boundaries to offer heart-centered compassionate informed knowledgeable human caring to society and humankind how this relates to my personal journey in nursing um, i my goal in professional life is to become a nurse midwife midwifery involves a caring nursing practice Patient satisfaction has been reported increased with the use of Watson's caring creatives in births, as well as Nightingale's environmental considerations. I want to use both of these theories involved in my own personal practice, continuing on through my professional journey. Here are my references. Thank you very much.